Okay, let's take a look at exercise 8-18, and I'll read that uh, for you. And you can see it just to the right of my mouse here. The Board of Directors of Ichiro Corporation is considering whether or not it should instruct the accounting department to shift from a first-in, first-out, that's FIFO basis, of pricing inventories to a last-in, first-out LIFO basis. And I see I've got a typo there. We'll just ignore that. The following information is available, and here we have to the left of my mouse the table data of what what uh, purchases they've had and what sales they've had and what inventory amounts they have. Okay, and then we're asked to prepare an income statement for the year on both bases for for uh, uh, comparative purposes. All right. Well, uh, the answer appears below, and let's walk through this a little bit. Sales under both bases would be exactly the same and uh, that should be twenty one thousand dollars at fifty units or uh, one million fifty thousand then we drop in the inventory um, which is the same in both situations right six thousand times twenty twenty dollars per unit is a hundred and twenty thousand and then we've got to compute purchases and purchases are five hundred and ninety two thousand and let me show you how we've ca calculated that let me slide here Okay, so we take 6,000 times 22, 10,000 times 25, and 7,000 times 30. Add that up, we come up with the 592,000. Okay, next we have to compute cost of goods available. And again, this is the same whether we're using FIFO or LIFO. We would take the sales less, um, well, I, I'm sorry, cost of goods available would be the inventories plus the purchases. And it's the same whether you use, you, whether you use FIFO or LIFO. We add in the beginning inventory and the purchases to come up with 712000 Then we've got to compute the inventory at December 31st. And here, will we, here we have a difference. Using FIFO, we have 235000 And let's take a look at how we calculated that. Well, FIFO assumes the first one in is the first one out. So the first layer is what, uh, what the 7,000 units that were purchased last, $30 each. And then since there's only 8,000 units in inventory, we have another 1,000 units to the right of my mouse here, and we price that at the second most recent um, purchase at $25. Add those two together, you get 235000 Now, with LIFO, um, the ending inventory is calculated a little bit differently. Here we use a layering effect, but the last one in is considered the first one out. So we assume that beginning inventory of 6,000 is still there. Then we've got to add in 2,000 more units from that second layer at $22. That comes up with the 44,000. Add those two values together, you get 164. Okay, sliding back up then. Now that we have a different value for the ending inventory, we can compute the cost of goods sold. Um, so we take the cost of good available, less the inventory, and under FIFO it's 477. Under LIFO it's 548. And we come up with different gross profits because sales less cost of goods sold is our gross profit. Then we back out the 200,000 of the operating expenses and we're able to prepare the condensed income statement for the year based on both FIFO and LIFO approaches. Okay, let me slide back up, and uh, I hope everyone you found this beneficial.